Clearly, there are many reasons why you might want to back up, restore, or transfer your model data to another device. And in order to do any of that, the first thing you need to do is to export the model data. So I'll get started by doing just that. I'm going into my capture application and very simply any one of the models that's in your application, just press the little three dot menu. Let's go ahead and export this one. And down here you can see at the bottom it says export and it gives you the number of megabytes or potentially gigabytes that you're about to export. So I'll just tap there. And now it's just a matter of waiting for that to go ahead and finish. All right, so the export has been done. Now it's up to me to decide what I wanna do with this. I can just save it to my iPhone. In this case, I want to back it up to the cloud. So I've got my Google Drive already set up in my iPhone and I'm just gonna find Google Drive right here and select the folder that I want to save it into. Hit save here and then hit upload. Once I've confirmed that backup is in my Google Drive, I like to log in via my computer or any other device that is not the same phone that I used in order to create the backup. Then I feel comfortable deleting this from the capture app. So I'll go ahead and press the little three dots, hit delete and say, okay. Now I've got a backup of this model data in my Google Drive folder and I can do really whatever I want with it. I can restore it into this device or I can transfer that into another device. This is obviously very helpful if I'm upgrading this device to a new one that's a little bit more powerful or if I'm sharing that model data with another team member and they're using their own device and they can actually download that from our shared Google Drive folder and import it into their application so that they can proceed with any kind of edits or additions that they need to make on their own. So now in order to import this into the same device or if I'm transferring this into a new device, the process is exactly the same. As long as I'm importing this model data into the same OS. I can't go from iOS to Android or vice versa. Because I backed up from iOS, I need to import into iOS. So now I'll just go ahead and press the three dots in the top right corner and press import job. It's asking me whether I want to import the zip file or an expanded folder. I have not expanded this. So I'll just go ahead and choose zip file. In my case, the first thing that comes up is iCloud, but of course I didn't save it to my iCloud, so I have to go find the Google Drive where I did save this. Now, you'll see in locations, I don't have Google Drive listed here, and that's because I just haven't enabled it yet. So what I have to do is press the three dots in the top right corner, hit edit, and add Google Drive to that locations. Now I'll just go ahead and go into my Google Drive, and I'll go ahead and find my temp folder so I can locate my file. Here's a zip file, go ahead and tap that, and it'll just go ahead and start importing on its own. And that's really it. So now you know how to export and create that archive of your model data and re-import it to restore it into the device, whether it is the same or a different device. Mm -hmm.